Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Oxygen OS 12 has been around for a couple of days now and this is the beta version so not the actual version which you can use in your daily driver but you can try this out and I will link the process down in the description if you guys want to go and check it out. So first let's look at the differences, let's see what's new and what has changed and there are a couple of changes. To start with, uh, the boot animation has changed. So as you can see, the OnePlus logo now becomes red uh, from various directions. So basically, it's all over the internet that Oxygen OS is now Color OS and there are a lot of the similarities between both of them. So we will see that in detail as well. Before we get into that, to subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon and don't forget to like the video. And now since you've subscribed, you'll be able to see all my future videos as well. Overall, uh, it feels like Oxygen OS. I do not see much changes. Though uh, the app drawer looks a bit different. Uh, it feels a bit different. Uh, feels slightly slower than before. Uh, but this might be because it is uh, in the beta version. But I am seeing significant lag. Like now, if you, if you swipe down from the top, uh, which is the notification panel, there is a slight delay over there. But apart from that, um, it is pretty swift, uh, responsive. And in some cases, yes, there is a delay. So I'm running uh, Oxygen OS uh, 12 Beta 1, and that's the latest which is out right now. It's based on Android 12. Though there is no Material U in this currently, but I do see some changes with respect to the wallpaper and the phone asking me that the entire UI will become that particular color. So I will show that um, in the latter part of the video. And now under personalizations, we have got different kind of uh, options happening. So when you're looking at the wallpapers, it's all different. The always on display has got this bit emoji, which is now better in edge detection, if I may put it that way. Um, apart from that, you always have the other options which are there in the always on display you have the have the canvas happening as well so if you want to uh, put out a photo or something you can do that but apart from that i think greatly it remains the same it's just that the entire appearance of it has changed and there is an entire new theme store which is there like what you see on uh, the likes of oppo vivo and xiaomi so there is an entire uh, new theme store which you can choose your themes from. Apart from that, I really like this uh, fingerprint reading animation. It's really good and there are m multiple options now which really look good according to me. So that's a good change there. Now the shelf has also changed So at the start of the video we saw. And you can now, once you swipe down from the top, the shelf opens with uh, the notifications panel as well. So that's something which is irritating, but there is a way to shut it and I will show it that show that as well. Now, if you long press in the, on a blank area on the home screen, you will go, you'll go into the menu and there are a couple of new things which are happening now. So uh, these are some welcome changes like you can now decide the app animation speed which is good which is normally there under developer settings so i think this behaves the same way uh, i did feel a significant increase in animation speed once i turn that on and you also have apart from settings you also have you know these new options like uh, you can change the way the uh, home screen flips so you can change the, the animation which it uses, uh, which was there earlier, but now the entire UI and the experience has completely changed. So th that's another addition there, uh, which, ha which Oxygen 12 has gotten us. So as I said, you swipe down, the shelf also comes there. So you can actually disable or enable the shelf from there. Now I do not use the shelf too much. I prefer Google. Uh, in place of the shelf so I have turned that off you can also do that if you need that now uh, let's look at something else so as you can see there is a little lag if you pull down the notifications panel but apart from that 
there's no significant lag if you go to the google side of the story or the app drawer or all of that so i think pretty good there uh, i like the entire experience of uh, oxygen os 12 i'm not saying that it is color os or oxygen os whatever i mean it feels good but yes um, i liked how oneplus was at the start uh, of the company when they used to be very similar to uh the pixel experience but now it's just become like any other uh smartphone android smartphone out there so as you saw while i was saying the note app has changed and i'm not going to go into the details there but there is a significant change um and couple of features which have been added by oneplus in the notes app so they are trying to build that ecosystem uh like what say samsung has or uh, apple has so that's happening now um, the dark mode has gotten a few changes so there is there are very vari- various levels of dark mode which you can take the phone to uh, this is the standard one and uh, they they are saying that it is a pure dark mode as well which takes the true uh, benefit of the oled display moving on to the next one we have got the games app as well so oneplus has kept changing that so it was fanatic mode then it became uh, pro gaming mode i guess and now uh, we are only looking at games so this is a lit- little bit uh, of a change here and it is it is laggy in my phone so i'm not sure if uh, you know i'll be doing justice to this but i will maybe make a follow up video when the actual oxygen os 12 comes out that is the public version and we can then see that as well so here uh the overall ui remains the same but there are a couple of things like uh you know voice over and all of that which has been added to here you can actually change your voice as well so that's another uh added benefit with oneplus so if you are streaming uh, gaming and streaming you can actually use this efficiently but i am as i said i am experiencing some lags in this app so i'll not be able to show that to you but that's also something which oneplus has incorporated this year okay so now let's move on to the camera and just before we do that there are a lot of privacy acceptances which you have to do here or agreements which you have to say okay to and it is very irritating so every app you open there is some or the other agreement which comes up and it tells you about what they are going to use which i appreciate but every now and then there is a statement of use which is very irritating uh, apart from that talking about privacy you do have um the notification uh coming up for your camera as well as the microphone in the top right corner which is uh, good it was there before so i'm not stressing on that but it is good the camera has got a few changes uh, i think they are getting the same thing which apple has done uh but i'm not sure if these are filters or at the processing level but they do have extra filters as well apart from that i do not see much changes um in the ui but yes there are a couple of things which have uh drastically increased from oxygen os 11 uh, and maybe the oneplus 8 series and uh, oneplus has been cup has been adding couple of things every now and then Uh, making the camera much more versatile uh, compared to uh, you know how they were earlier so that's that's good there now going to the next one and that is the gallery app there are a couple of changes here as well so you have uh, a different way to look at the entire uh, photo library uh, as you can say you also have memories as well like what you see on uh, google photos or apple photos so that is also something which has been incorporated here i think there was some there, there, there were uh, some versions of it in the previous oxygen os as well but this is again a good change uh, if you're using oneplus's cloud and uh, you know have a lot of photos in there now apart from that uh, there are also significant uh, things which i noticed might not be changes but um, good things which are there like you know you have i comfort um you have um oneplus's own version of true tone which adapts uh, the screen according to the ambient light uh, pretty interesting that way 
so all of these features um, make it a good feature packed phone um, there are a lot of little things which oneplus has incorporated over the years and now uh, in oxygen os 12 you can see a lot of changes whenever you clear all the apps uh, it sh it shows a toast uh, notification with respect to how much ram has been which has been cleared so that's also something which is good and i have not seen it in any other oxygen os's before this the battery uh, has totally changed so there is a new ui to it and i personally like it so you can see a good battery uh, indicator there which is pretty interesting apart from that it also shows you uh, what optimizations can be done to increase battery life like it is telling me to turn off uh, the 120 hertz uh, gps all of that uh, adaptive brightness and that will boost my battery life according to the phone so that's interesting if someone really wants to save uh, battery they can obviously go on to this and start doing all the optimizations uh, apart from that I think personalization has been uh, one of the main changes so you do have um, the horizon light as well which has been there uh, from before and uh, we spoke about the other things like the canvas etc rest everything remains the same so you do have a, a better zen mode a better work mode uh, which has been introduced by uh, oxygen os earlier as well i think oxygen os 10 uh, let me note down in the comment section uh, if you know the exact year of the uh, you know introduction of those modes apart from that uh, there are there are not much changes but yes uh, overall it feels very much like color os uh, so if you've used color os earlier you will see a lot of similarities between both of these uh, not only the code i think the entire ui is based on the color os experience uh, the other thing which I noticed that, you know, uh, if you are buying a OnePlus, you want something different. But if you're going to get the same thing which Oppo has, Vivo has, it really makes the phone exactly the same. So there is no difference if you go and buy a Oppo phone with the same specifications because it's all going to look the same. So that's a call which you need to make. Uh, and with that, we are at the end of the video. Do subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon. Um, don't forget to like the video as well it really helps the channel grow and apart from that if you have any questions of how to install this uh, refer to the description below and uh, do comment because i answer to all your queries and as usual thanks for watching